Hello, welcome to another video from alpacaguild.com. Today we're going to be talking about poo, alpaca poo particularly, um, and what good use we can make from it uh, on the garden, planting all kinds of different things. It's an incredible product actually compared to many of the other poos that we could use. If we think of you know, horse, pony, donkey, a lot of these things need to spend time being watered down before they can be used on the garden. Alpaca poo, by contrast, can be thrown straight onto the garden. It can be put directly into a hole when you're planting a tree, or it can be sprinkled around the top. It's really, really versatile. And one of the great things about alpaca is they tend to poo in one spot, making it really easy to pick up. Now they do that for good reasons, because if they were to indiscriminately spread it around the paddock, as so many animals do, then obviously they would have issues with things like worm burden. Um, by doing it in one place and not eating from that area, they very intelligently keep themselves healthy. Smart things, alpacas. Um, now we, we actually have here um, some mushroom compost and I tend to mix the two together. This really helps to bulk it out. We're very fortunate that we've got a mushroom farm not too far away. So this essentially starts a straw um, and then it's soaked in liquefied horse manure. Um, then it becomes obviously the bedding for the uh, mushrooms to grow in, so we get all the uh, microorganisms um, from that. So this in itself is incredibly good to go on the garden. Add the alpaca poo and you've got the perfect recipe for the majority of trees, plants, shrubs, etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix some of this up and we'll go and harvest ourselves some alpaca poo. So here we can see the very clear demarcation from the, the grass that's been eaten quite low by the alpaca and then directly behind it is one of the poo piles within this paddock and then the grass is a little bit higher. Alpaca recognise where the grass actually has a potential for worm burden and they will stop eating at this, this point. So it's very important when looking in your paddocks and trying to understand how much grass there is for your alpaca to ensure that the long grass isn't just a poo pile and that they may actually be getting quite low down on the grass here. So what we're going to do now is go into the poo pile and uh, get ourselves some nice juicy poo. So there are a couple of reasons why we're actually doing this exercise. I mean, we've started talking about how good this is for the garden, but more important than that, it's, we've really got to get rid of this from the paddocks. If we leave it here, two things can happen. One is we just lose some of the grass that we could be feeding to our animals, so there's a reduction there. Um, but as the grass starts to get shorter around it, the animals might start to encroach in on it, and that could increase their chance for worm burden. So we need to get rid of this out of, out of the paddocks anyway. Um, the other important thing is to actually check it, make sure that it's healthy. If an animal is truly healthy, then it should be sort of fairly free flowing as it comes out of them. It should look like lots of small marbles. If it starts to become sort of clumpy and it's sort of wetter, you might want to consider if there's something in their diet that isn't quite right. Um, let's have a look at some of this. Hopefully you can just see that there. So tiny small balls, um, should be a little bit wet. Um, this isn't particularly fresh. The alpacas aren't actually uh, sort of using this poo pile at the moment, but I really want to just check it and make sure that it is, you know, it's healthy um, and that it's not just all clumped up. This is good alpaca poo. Uh, so we'll now go and take that and we'll mix it into the rest of the mushroom compost we've got. So there we are, it's nice and easy, especially if you've got a small tractor with a bucket that you can use to pick it up. Uh, there are also alpaca vacuum cleaners that people use to, uh, to collect the poo from their paddocks. Uh, I've not had any experience with those, but certainly with the bucket, it's a very easy process. And now what we'll do is we'll just get this all mixed in and it'll be ready to go straight onto the garden. Ah, and someone's gone down my boot. Thank you. If you've enjoyed this video, if you've got any value out of it, please like, subscribe, and remember to hit that bell so that you get notified of future videos as well. Thank you very much. Goodbye.